Hello, in this video I'm going to go through part I on question 1 of the MAP 2014 paper and it asks how we can obtain this graph y to the y equals to 2 to the power of x squared minus 4x plus 3 from the graph y equals to 2 to the power of x squared. Um, can we use a stretch parallel to the y-axis then a translation parallel to the y-axis or a translation parallel to the x-axis then a stretch parallel to y-axis translation parallel to x S, uh, stretch parallel to x or translation parallel to x reflection in the y-axis or reflection in y-axis and then a translation parallel to the y-axis. So if you recall these are the rules we have for translating functions sorry I mean transforming functions so we're going to have these rules so where it might have been um, tempting to have said that okay this is just this graph but then I'm going to translate x by minus 4x plus 3. Well, that doesn't really work because a here, we can only do these transformations where a is a real number and x here is a variable. So somehow we've got to try and get these x's together and then we can use these rules to work out how we got this. Well, if I just wanted one x term, well, preferably an x term that's squared, well I could just complete the square on this quadratic here. So if we completed the square we'd see that it's equal to this. That means that the y that we have ended up with is actually 2 to the x minus 2 all squared minus 1. So we want to know how we manage to get this from y is equal to 2 to the x squared. So hopefully you can see now that we've got a translation here using this rule. But what about this minus 1 here? I mean, it's not a translation in the x direction. That's what's in this bracket here. And it's not a translation in the y direction either, because otherwise I'd have plus 1 added to the whole thing like this. So what can we do about that? Well, we know that this is actually just the same as 2x minus 2 squared times by 2 to the minus 1. So 2 to the minus 1 is just a half. So this is equal to a half times 2 times x minus 2 squared. And now we can see that actually what that meant was we had a stretch by a factor of a half out the front. So we've used this, a stretch in the y direction. So what we have is a translation parallel to the x direction with the minus 2 here and then a stretch parallel to the y direction with this a half and we can see that that means our answer is b.